Hi everyone, I'm Alain Provo. Welcome to the tips and tricks of uh, Solid Experts. Uh, today I'm here to uh, uh, give a little reminder on little options in our sheet metal functions uh, that sometimes when we update our uh, SolidWorks uh, are off because they don't quite automatically uh, get uh, re, uh, rechecked. So um, let's go see in SolidWorks what I'm talking about. So I'm going to open up a model here inside SolidWorks to, to see what happens. And I always use uh, models from our launches so that sometimes people get the reminder of what they see and it's easier to, uh, to follow. So first example uh, I'm going to show is, you see, I have little scraps in my sheet metal part here and I really don't want that. I want them to be clean cut and, and sometimes it's because we forget that we have a little option inside the function because it's a nor normal cut, but maybe, just maybe, I forgot that I can optimize the geometry. And this will take in consideration the form of my sketch. And you see it's going through at an angle on my shin metal part. And that's why maybe I'm off a little. So this will help optimize the cut and clean it out. And that will make a perfect fit for my, my part. It will go inside it perfectly. Um, the other thing is that if I forget to check those box, boxes, you'll see that strange things might happen on my sheet metal part that I really, really do not want. Because if I do this, my sheet metal part will not be able to be cut properly by my laser machine, plasma machine, or water jet machine, because you see the shape of the cut is really, really not good for me here. So that's why I want to um, check those box and be sure that this will make the perfect cut inside my part. There we go. Now it's really perpendicular to the surface of my sheet metal part and it's ready to be sent for the cut. So that was my first example I wanted to show you. Second example is going to be one uh, on scribes. Uh, sometimes we do need to uh, put scribes on our model. And what I did here is with my function of uh, uh, enrollment, um, I just did a scribe on my part, but I did it in the band so that you can see uh, this option I'm going to show you right now, because when I go to check my flat pattern, wow, I don't have my scribed anymore. And if I want to make a drawing of that, well, I'll have to manually do it. So sometimes it's because we don't know this option that exists in the function. All you have to do is go into the flat uh, state, edit the feature, and in there you have a little box, retain scribe faces that exist. Just check it, accept it, and that's it. Now, no problem. Your scribes will be available in your flat patterns and you won't have to manually do them inside your drawings. So, I hope these tricks will help you out on your daily basis. I thank you for being here today with me and see you next time. Bye-bye.